Now, this problem isn't unique to the city of Columbus. Every 39 seconds in the U.S., someone's data is being breached by a hacker. That's according to the University of Maryland School of Engineering. Experts say the amount of data we share on our computers, even our cell phones, is enough to bring our lives to a complete standstill. 10 TV's Kevin Landers has more on some simple ways to protect your personal information. Let's use the analogy of a door to talk about security. If your door isn't locked, meaning you don't have antivirus software, the virus can simply walk in and steal your data. We went to a Dublin cybersecurity company called Logically. They've been doing cybersecurity for 20 years. We wanted to know what are some easy ways to protect your data from getting into the hands of hackers. Here's what they told us. One, never use your debit card to buy online purchases. Always use a credit card. That way you still have access to your money in your bank if it's compromised. Set a dollar amount on your credit card. So this way, if someone tries to make a large purchase, it won't go through. Make your password hard to crack. It should be a sentence with a space in it along with a character. This makes it harder for hackers to crack it. And make sure your cell phone has facial recognition. That way, if it's lost, hackers cannot get into your phone. Bottom line, take computer security seriously. Websites will let you store your information in your web browser, which makes it convenient. But that's also one of the first places if somebody does get on that laptop that we were talking about, they're going to go look. They're going to exfiltrate that data, and now they have access to your user, uh, names, your passwords, they have access, access to your addresses, all of your credit card information. So although it's convenient, always recommend not to do it. Ahead at six, why experts say avoid connecting to public Wi-Fi. Reporting from the newsroom, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.